I'm a big fan of entrepreneurs, and you got your start at an early age in the fifth grade selling candy, didn't you? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. So, yeah, I was. Uh, so, how'd you get into the business? <laughs> um, how did I get into the business? Um, what, what what I used to do. <laughs> this was uh, a long time ago. Um, I was. I always had an entrepreneurial spirit about myself, and I saw an opportunity, um, <laughs> and I took it. And the opportunity was to sell candy at the school I was attending. The problem was I didn't have the money for the initial startup capital to get my product. So I had to go to plan B. So if I can't buy it, I had to steal it. So I, I on a trip to the grocery store, um, I decided to get some slippery fingers and I confiscated a lot of product, I'll say, and my, my storefront was open at that point. Um, uh, so I started selling all kind of candies and gum and I, 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 brought, I took my, one of my father's old suitcases that was in the basement. I cleaned it up, right? And all, I put all the product, all the candy in there. It's product, because I was a businessman. Product. So I put all that, so I would start, I started carrying this briefcase to, to school every day. And everybody's like, what? This, why are you carrying the briefcase to school? And so I, I'm a businessman, you know, I got a briefcase. And so everybody thought, oh, that's so cute. He's carrying a briefcase. He wants to be like his dad. <laughs> but they didn't know that I had the product in the briefcase and I was open for business. Um, and so it was, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was very, very lucrative until the principal found out. Well, but then that was because you took on a partner and then you found yeah. out you had a competitor. I took on a partner. Oh, man. I took on a partner because things were starting to go very well. And I couldn't be in two places at one time. So I needed help because, you know, you, you got to expand at some point when you're doing well. But at the minute that I expand, you, you become a little vulnerable when you expand because now your product is cut in half, you don't have as much on hand, you don't have the varieties. So you, you, you're kind of vulnerable a little bit. So another guy came into the marketplace and I'm saying to myself, whoa! And obviously he had some variety, he was a new guy on the block, and I'm saying to myself, uh-uh, he's cutting into my <laughs> cash flow here. So I said, we have got to put him out of business. And my partner took it literally when I said we have to put him out of business. And he actually took him out of business. Literally, he stole all of his product. And, and I, I, don't, I don't remember giving him the cold red to take all the product, uh, but he did. And, it came back on us and the principal reached out to my parents and things got really bad 